Hello everyone, I'm Christine. Welcome to Animation with Scratch Programming Part 2. If you have missed Part 1, you can check it out from my YouTube channel. Scratch is a visual-based programming language, or block-based, that is great for making games, animations, interactive stories, music, art, or applications. Scratch is available online, so you just need to go to your browser. In Google, type Scratch 3.0 and press the Enter key. It will lead you to this link, scratch.mit.edu. So click on this link. The link will lead you to the Scratch 3.0 studio. So if you have a Gmail account, you can sign in and you can share the projects with the community. So let's click on Create. What you see here is the editor for the Scratch projects. On the left side of the screen, you will see a list of blocks that you can use to create your program. The scripts area is where you join the blocks together to create your program. The stage is the area to view the output from your program. Let's close the tutorials to start creating our first Scratch program. In our first Scratch project, we will be using motion, looks, sound, events and controls. We will learn how to change the backdrop, save your project, load your project, and also look at the Scratch tutorials. In the code tab, the first set of blocks is to control the motion of an object. In Scratch, the object is called a sprite. The name of this sprite is called Sprite1. And this Sprite1 is an image of a cat. We can change it to a more meaningful name. So let's call it Cat Sprite1. So to control the motion of our cat, we can use the move block. So I'm going to click on this block and drag it to the scripts area. And when I click on this block, it's actually moving 10 pixels. So it's a very tiny movement. So if you want to repeat these steps, we can select a control from this button. Let's repeat these steps 10 times. So again, we click and drag to join the blocks together. So what this means is that the cat is going to move 10 steps and these steps will be repeated 10 times. So let's click on the block and you will see the movement. So in other words, it's actually moving 100 pixels. 10 multiplied by 10 gives you 100. All right, so if you want the cat to move backwards, so we can use negative 10 instead of positive 10. So let's change this to a negative value. And then click on the block. So the cat is actually moving backwards. So let's look at the block for looks. So you can actually get the cat to say something. So let's try this. Say hello for two seconds. So we click and drag it here. So what it means is that after moving 10 steps backwards, it's going to say the word hello. So this refers to the sequence of the program, which is from the top to the bottom. So let's click on the block. So it actually move backwards 10 steps and then say the word hello for two seconds. All right. So instead of clicking on the block, we can actually use this green flag as an event. So that means when I click on this go button, it will actually execute the blocks. So that is actually found under events. And you will see this event called when the green flag is clicked. So let's click and then drag it here. And now instead of um, moving backwards, so I'm going to change this to positive 10. So let's click on the green flag. So it move forward and then says the word hello for two seconds. 
So probably instead of saying hello, let's say meow. So let's click on the green flag and meow. So of course, it will be better that we have sound. So let's go to the sound blocks. And you can see something like play sound until it's done. That means you play the sound until it's completed. So let's join the blocks together. Click and drag. And I'm going to move the cat to somewhere here. So just click and drag on it. So let's go. So it says meow for two seconds. Okay. And then only play the sound. All right. So let's try that again. Move. Meow. And followed by the sound. So I want to encourage you to try out with other blocks that are in motion, in loads, so you can get it to say hello or even think. Do try out the switch costume and see what happens. And you can also add in other sound. So if you go to the sound tab, so by clicking on this icon here, you can choose a sound. So there are many sounds that you can actually try out. But as you move your mouse over to the play button, you can listen to the various sound. Okay, let's add in a clapping sound. So I'm just going to click on this. So now we have a meow sound and also a clapping sound. Okay, let's click on code again. So now the clapping sound has been added. So let's say after playing the meow sound, I want to actually play the clapping sound. So I just click and then drag it there. Right, let's look at other blocks. So we have tried out the event, right, which is the green flag event. And we have also tried out the repeat block. So that allows me to actually repeat my statements or this step here 10 times. So again, you can actually change this value as well. So I can have a smaller value, right, or bigger value. So let's say I repeat this five times. So in other words, it's actually 50 steps, five times 10. So it will say meow for two seconds, right? So you play two sounds. One is the meow sound and the other one is the clapping sound. So let's try this. Say So it ends with a clapping sound. All right, let's try to change the backdrop. So at the moment, we have a white backdrop. So if you go to this section here called stage, so at the moment, we have a white backdrop. Now let's choose a new backdrop by going to the stage area. Click on this icon, choose a backdrop. So there are many backdrops that you can choose from. So let's go for blue sky and then move the cat to this position. Okay, so now let's run it. Say meow. Play the meow sound and clapping. Okay, let's try a different event. So you go to event. You will find this when this sprite is clicked. So let's try this. When this sprite is clicked, so I want it to actually move. So I'm not going to use this uh, green flag event. So I'm just going to click and then drag this whole block here. So you can always delete unwanted blocks by going to right click and then delete block. Or you can also click on the block and press the delete on the keyboard. Okay, so let's click on the sprite, so you move. 
So when I click on it again, it will repeat the same steps. Same meow. So now, when I click the green button, nothing is going to happen, right? Because I don't have the code for that. So the code has been changed to when the sprite is clicked, then it will repeat the movement. So you can add actually multiple events as well. So I can say, all right, when this green button is being clicked, so let's try a different um, looks here. It will say hello for two seconds. Okay. So let's try that. So I click on the green flag, it says hello for two seconds. So I click again, same thing happens. So now when I click on a sprite, so you can see that it's actually executing these blocks here. All right, repeat the movement, say the word meow for two seconds, and then play both sounds. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you save your project. So you go to file, and select save to your computer. Then navigate to the location that you want to save to. So I'm gonna save this onto the desktop and I'm gonna call it first scratch project and click on save. So each time you make changes to your project, so you should always go to file save, right? and click on the same name again which is first scratch project in this case and then click on save so it will ask you whether you want to replace it so just click on yes so if i go to file new it will ask me whether i want to replace the content of the current project i'll click on ok so now i can actually load my previous project, go to file load and navigate to the folder where I saved the project. Click on it and open. So now the previous project has been loaded. So you can continue to make changes and again remember to save it. Let's go to the tutorial section. So if you have not tried out the tutorials, do try them out. Let's look at the first one, getting started. I'll click on it. And you can play the tutorial. With Scratch, you can make your own stories, games, and animations. Let's start by grabbing a move block. We can click the block to run it. There are many other blocks to choose from. Check out the different categories. Let's go to the sound category and grab a play sound until done block. I'll snap this onto our move block. When do we want these code blocks to run? Add an event block on top to start the code. I'll add the when green flag clicked block. You can easily reorder or delete these blocks at any time. Add as many characters as you want to your project and code each one. Check out the tutorials page for ideas and inspiration. Now let's add another sprite. So click on choose a sprite icon here. So there are many sprites that you can choose from. I'll select butterfly. And let's put it at this corner here. So I can make the butterfly go to a random position each time. So if you go to motion, you can see this, go to random position. And we can actually repeat this block. So that's under control. And repeat this 10 times. So I'll repeat it when the green flag is being 
selected. So that's under events. So when a green flag is clicked, then this butterfly will be moving to a random position. Let's try that. Okay, it's actually moving quite fast. So you can actually add in a weight. So under control, you will find this weight for one second. So let's try that and add it into the block. So let's click on the green button again. So you see that every one second, it moves to a random position. And this is repeated 10 times. So in the next lesson, I'll show you how you can use multiple backdrops and also do more animation. So in this lesson, we have seen how we use the motion blocks. Oops, sound, events, and also control. So do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch the next video. Thank you.